Well, let's take that talk of a bubble and address it. The shock that private equity has continued to outperform the volatile public markets is palpable. Unprecedented seems to be mentioned more than it should, a sure sign that we've been here before. When we look at the facts and see what has happened in prior downturns, you see in both of these cases private equity outperformed by roughly 2,000 basis points. We think that's performance worth noticing and drive many investors to hold their nerve as all around are skeptical. Now Shakespeare surely had no idea he'd be mentioned in a future edition of the Hamilton Lane Market Overview, but if he were here, we'd remind him that we private markets people can be a little dry and share this chart. Outperformance in 2022, along with the continued performance since, can be attributed to stronger revenue and EBITDA growth than public companies. Those with sharper eyes will rightly say, aha, but that growth doth slow. And to that we agree. But we also ask, would you rather be invested where the owner focuses on long-term growth decisions or one where management wakes every day to worry about the short-term whims of their share price? In the eternal words of the Bard, data, data, data. As we delve into the why, we see that the composition of buyout is somewhat different to the public markets. The buyout sector provides greater diversification with access to companies with an average size of $328 million versus $32.5 billion in the S&P 500. The ability to exert influence is therefore clearer and better drives long-term growth. We also asked managers about their experience in growing revenue across their portfolios. Importantly, in 2023, more than 80% are reported as growing in line with or ahead of expectations. And in particular, the 75% in line is compelling data that something must be going right. Companies, on average, are sold for higher than they are valued as well. Yes, managers may pick and choose what they sell, but in control situations, exits were at a 27% markup versus their prior carrying value. It is true and has been throughout private equities history. This should make even the most skeptical among you reconsider.